this gonna flop? Oh, yeah! <laughs> that! Oh my god! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the showcase of the newest dinosaurs in the newest patch. That is the Cretaceous Dinosaurs DLC for Jurassic World Evolution. This includes Dreadnoctus, or Dreadnoughtus, uh, Carcharodontosaurus, and Iguanodon. The one I'm actually most looking forward to. So we're going to release all the Dreadnoughtus, have a look at them, look at the skins, all the skins that we've got, because I actually... This is the Battle Royale account or save file, so we had to go back through five-star sauna, five-star penna in order to get the jungle and everything and the woodland skin to show you guys all of the awesome skins. So I'm not going to focus on the basic skin as you can kind of see it right here, so there's no point really seeing it. So uh, we're going to release all the Dreadnoughtus first. So I think the first one is Alpine. So this is going to be really pale. Oh, wow. He has a very dopey-looking face. Uh, already, it's more Mementosaurus, because Brachiosaurus bent over the uh, top, whereas Mementosaurus didn't do that, so the animation's more like that. Mm. So this guy took absolutely ages to be done in the hatchery. Oh, God. How bloody tall is its neck? <laughs> Kind of like farting. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Oh my god, how, how friggin' tall is it? Jeez. It's massive. Okay, the next one is the tundra pattern. Uh, more of a brownish color there. So you can see you've got dark on top for both of them. Uh, so it's kind of like just changing the palette a little bit. The skin, like, texture and tones don't really change. It'll just be like a little, um, like system where they could just change that certain skin color um to make the skins so uh can we get a different view maybe, maybe more up front of your call what is that it's that's a weird sound effect <laughs> and the way it stands my god it's like someone just stretched its neck into oblivion uh, so let's have a look. Their social need is three max at uh, base stats. They need a lot of forest. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, there's not too much forest in here. And uh, they probably do need a lot of... Oh, it does say missing forest. That's quite handy. Uh, so this one, I think, is step. No, jungle, step, then arid. So uh, no... Oh, no. Wait, is it... this is jungle, right? Yeah, jungle. So this is the the, um, the recent sort of skin that was added. Well, not, not the recent skin, but the one that Deinonychus could have, because they've added way more skins, because the challenge mode is now available, and every island... I'll tell you what, we'll get a close-up of it next, just uh, just um, with the alt shift 2, I think it is, to see uh, get a good, lovely close-up of the skin tones. Uh, so, yeah, every island now has its own... Um, ooh, that one looks nice! Ooh, step. Step looks quite nice. Um, so, every island... I've, I've repeated this four times you can have another two skins unlocked. Um, and there's like Ceratosaurus skin, Dilophosaurus skin, all this jazz. The other big difference that um, Frontier have added to the hatcheries, or sorry, to the feeders, is that now you can choose to dispense um, this certain th uh, thing earlier. So if you have dinosaurs that there's too many of them in one enclosure um, and they start starving, you can actually dispense it quicker uh, as opposed to having to buy another one. However, you cannot... Um, I mean, they each have like a certain timer, so they dispense every seven minutes, I think. Um, so zero minutes until dispensing. So it's going to dispense pretty much now. Uh, but every seven minutes it will dispense. You can't change that. However, you can manually uh, dispense it. Uh, so that is, I think that was the step. And this one, the last one, is the arid. Um, a little bit paler. Um... I think I prefer this one. I prefer this step. Okay, so we're going to get a lovely big close-up. So this guy doesn't really add any changes to the game per se, which is a little bit annoying. Um, because it's just it's just another Brachiosaurus Mementosaurus. So you're ready. Go on. Go on. And ooh, there we go. So now we just need to make it look cool. Oh, God, no. I've done it again. Change the field of view so we get a lovely... A lovely jubbly close-up and get very close. So there you go. You can see the inside of the mouth there. Look at the look at that. Look at that for a shot. Isn't she beautiful? 
They really, uh, really tell the um, detail that they go to with all this uh, bump mapping to give it like a realish, realistic texture. Um, I like a, I like the little noz schnozzle on the top. That's quite nice. All the detail of the teeth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and there you go. Unfortunately, I, I wish there was more to say about Dreadnoughtus, but there isn't. It's just another really big herbivore. And of course, it's... Um, it's not happy because there's too many of them. So if you want to have a load of them, um, you're going to have to change its genetics to make it so that they can have more of their own species. The only thing is, if it goes below, like the threshold doesn't change, just it moves up and down. So there will be three, like three of them leeway, whether it's zero, zero to three, uh, five to eight. There will like if there's three too less or too many, it's not going to be happy. So um, they're they're going to be very picky. So if you put them in an enclosure with dinosaurs that might drop like flies, uh, they're going to get pretty annoyed pretty quickly. Now, 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 onto my favorite one. I'm looking uh, forward to most, and this is the iguanodon. So I can't remember what skin this is. Oh, it's so cute, <laughs> little bambino. Ooh, I like it. Oh, look at the, the muscular forearms there and the, the huge thumb claws that it has. Ooh. Ooh, it's kind of holding itself a bit different to the other hadrosaurs. I guess it's because it does have these huge forearms. Uh, let's check the other one out. Oh, oh, a little bit of a Parasaurolophus call there. Ooh, what's this one? Let's have a look should say woodland yeah. all right i prefer the woodland i think looks more camouflaged i mean that it depends if they oh the way it's eaten oh my god unique animation that's awesome using its uh, claws there that's great income oh here we go we got a newcomer oh this has to be the jungle yeah after a tiger oh my god that is beautiful Oh, are we going to get... Is it going to cup the water and drink? I don't think it would do that. <laughs> but that would be awesome. Ooh. It's interesting because you get that... The first... The start of this... Of the sound of it was unique. And then it went to like a parasol. Uh, which is cool. I don't mind that. Uh, ooh. 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 Which one do I prefer? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. I like this one. I like the dark one. That's nice. What's this one? Is this vivid? Okay, so each call sort of does have a Parasaurolophus um, Lost World sort of feel to it. So Coastal's more dark. Ooh. I don't know which one I prefer. I just love the animation it's got there. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so that, like, the difference, the why I, I really like this Iguanodon is the fact that it can actually, or at least it's been shown to fight off carnivores, which is the only Hadrosaur to do so. Um, just because of those, like, thumb claws there. So we'll get a really nice shot. Oh, man. I mean, we can't fault Frontier. They do an, a fantastic job of making these guys look realistic. I mean, you cannot fault this game. It looks beautiful. Especially if you're on PC and you can enter this uh, Ansel mode from NVIDIA. Oh, just look at that. Look at the textures. I mean, the skins, I mean, they're all kind of the same. They're just, like, different variants. So, like... You know, one's darker. I mean, the pattern itself doesn't really change. It's just the color, which I'm not too fussed about. I mean, it does give you... Oh, we got a little bit of a communication. So let's have a look at the stats. So it has an all right population limit. Um, it's social. I think it might be okay by itself, actually. Uh, I mean, we can easy check if we just go... <laughs> if, you know, James is clever and actually just goes into the hatchery. Um... I think I'm, they, I'm pretty sure they tell you on there, but just to make sure, I'll go into here and we'll go into the uh, the social stuff. So, what do we have? Yes, it's completely fine by itself and 1 to 10 and population 1 to 20. So it's, yeah, Iguanodon's one of those go-to dinosaurs that you can stick into any enclosure because it has a decent population limit with 20 and it's fine by itself. And a 10 max social limit is really good. So now, onto the dinosaur that's probably going to cause the most fuss. The Carcharodontosaurus. 
Oh my god, look at you. <laughs> we'll get a better sight from this side. Ooh, wow, what are you? I mean, I know you can't call it on the source. What kind of skin is that? So anybody... Ooh, like it. Oh, I like that call. That's quite nice. We'll get to hear it a couple more times when we release the other ones. So now the thing is, with big carnivores like this... Um, oh, God. No, really, okay. Uh, <laughs> they would kill Hadrosaurs instantly. Ooh, we got a blue one. Ooh, I like that. Oh, what does that remind me of? That's like an old school sort of dinosaur skin tone. Like Ray Harryhausen. Why do I always go to Ray Harryhausen? I don't know. Oh, the, the call a little bit different. Okay. Oh, is he lining up? Now, we saw in its... Um, battle animation that it could easily kill an iguanodon by running at it and performing an attack. Now, will Kakarodonosaurus be able to take on sauropods? That would be interesting. I don't think so. Okay, let's, so let's check the other one. Listen to its roar again. Oh, we got a dead dino. Oh, well, they, there you have it. Looks like iguanodon um, it gets killed just as easy. Um by huge carnivores, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be different, actually. <laughs> Apparently not. Maybe it's only medium carnivores, like Toast, so sort of like Carnotaurus, like Majungasaurus, like Ceratosaurus. That could be the case, actually. Uh, so I'll keep... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Bam! And there is the kill. So it's like a quick attack on the belly and then a roar. So very similar to what we've seen in the past. So these are all the skins for... Carnotaurus? Gotta admit, I'm not too fussed on it. Um, out of everything. That skin's alright. Oh, we got- Oh, there we go. This must be vivid. Ooh, a deep purple. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. I like the, um, the distinct difference between the dark skin and the light gums. That's quite nice. Uh, I don't know which one I prefer. I think I prefer this one, and I don't know why. I just do. Okay, so... Iguanodons cannot face off against, like, super huge carnivores. I thought they would be able to. Now, let's have a look at social. So, it seems to be just one. One Carcharodonosaurus. I could be wrong. Its population's actually quite low for a big carnivore. It's, oh, it's already attacking its own species. That's fantastic. Now, the only way to check... Um, what its demands are, for sure, is if James knew how to do it, he would, and click on the dinosaur and go on the, the information. Actually, I think it does tell you in the information. <laughs> but here, social one to two. So we can have two, and a minimum population of, well, 15, or maximum, I should say. Eh, not too fussed about, so... <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's so cute. So what I want to do, yeah, these guys are going to kill each other, um... Uh, you know, I'm not too fussed. I'm going to retire um, the Carcharodontosaurus just because I don't want them to attack any more Iguanodons. And that's what they're going to do because I've deliberately... I thought that Iguanodons would be able to fight back. However, I'm completely wrong because I've genetically engineered this Iguanodon to have 153 attack. So I do want to check out its animation. And down goes our last... Iguanodon, unfortunately. <laughs> I think, is it? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's them all gone, unfortunately. Okay. Although, with these new dinosaurs, it does mean that we're going to have to do another battle royale to get those views. Christmas revenue. <laughs> right, go down your... There you go. It's wonder. <laughs> the splits. Nothing says graceful like that does. Okay, so we got a Carnotaurus in the way. And now we have a Iguanodon that um, has 153 attack. Now, I want to do some tests with this guy. Because technically, it's it's got more attack than a T-Rex. Now, I'm wondering if because the difference between a base Iguanodon and a base Carcharodonosaurus is so big, that that means they just instantly get to... they instantly kill it. Um, whereas this one's got plus 98 attack and even some defense. So, we're gonna test it with a Carnotaurus. 
And, I mean, it should win? I'm hoping Carnotaurus doesn't take it down. If it bloody well does, I'll be disappointed. Uh, and then we'll test it with a small carnivore, like a Velociraptor. Um, because Velociraptor would be able to one-shot any Hadrosaur. Um, and then we'll test it with something like um, the Carcharodontosaurus again. Except for we'll just make like a base Carcharodontosaurus. And in fact, we'll just make one without any skin, shall we? We'll just we'll make it the base one. We'll make it the base one. Carnotaurus. No modifications, no skin, and uh, complete base stats. So, this guy shouldn't be able to face up against Iguanodon. It should lose to it. We've never seen a Hadrosaur fight, let alone, you know, stand a chance. <laughs> so, it looks like they're already starting to get ready to fight against one another. Wow, this Iguanodon has so many unique animations. It's got, like, its own grazing animation. Or at least it looks unique, if it is a copy and paste. And the, the calls are awesome, too. Oh, it looks like this is it. Oh, yes! Is it? Yeah, here we go! <gasps> oh, my God! Yes! Oh, this is awesome! We've never seen this before. So, Iguanodon, this is all unique animation. Let's see, is it going to charge or is it going to swipe with its thumb? Oh my god, standing upright, intimidation. Oh, yes! <laughs> How much damage? 45. Ooh. Oh, I like it. It's its own unique animation. Standing tall, intimidating. That's really... Oh god, sorry, hit my mouse. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is really cool. Right, so medium carnivores, they have a chance to actually die to an iguanodon, but large carnivores don't, so boom! There's the swipe again. Oh, hold on, we need to get a good shot of this. For the bear hug, the iguanodon hug. Are you ready? Don't topple over, do not topple over. Go on, go and attack, and <laughs> I got you! <laughs> oh, it looks so cool! Look at that, that's awesome, oh! You can really see the thumb in the back of the neck there. So, yeah, this is every medium carnivore's worst nightmare now. <laughs> the bear hug of death. Oh, bam. And a roar of victory. Dead dinosaur. So that takes its... It will actually get combat infamy as well. Plus 95. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, so the next thing. I'll get rid of Toast's body. So, we've tested large carnivores, we've tested medium carnivores, but, 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 will a raptor still be able to pounce on top of said iguanodon and kill it in one shot, just like a large one? Because that would kind of, that, that would just cheapen, um, the, like, Carnotaurus. Hadrosaurs are always the first one to die. As you saw when I released all of those, um, Carcharodontosauruses, all of the iguanodons died. Now, if a guanodon fills in the same type category as ankylosaur and triceratops types, that means that they are able to be in an enclosure with small carnivores. And actually, I think that's probably what's going to happen. I don't think this, this velociraptor, it may square off against it, but I don't think they're going to fight each other. Oh, oh, really? Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'd be so cool if Iguanodon just ran past it and just swiped it. But, uh, I, oh, there, oh, there you go. In sync, uh, synchronized look to each other. It would be cool if the velo- Oh, oh, they are squaring up to each other. There you have it. So, Iguanodon fills in that category. It's just like a trike, just like an ankylosaur. Oh, my God. If it just, like, swiped it and killed it now, that would be amazing. Oh, my God, it is! <laughs> No way! Ooh! And Velociraptor, so it is like an Ankylosaur, except for they can actually fight each other. Oh, wow! Iguanodon, you keep on surprising me. So there's going to be a unique death animation. Right? I can't remember what's... Oh, here we go. So how does Iguanodon finish off a Velociraptor? 
What are you gonna do? Is this gonna flop? Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> that! Oh my god! That! Oh, where, oh, where his legs go? <laughs> I didn't see that coming! That was awesome! Oh my god! Iguanodon, you are my new favorite. It fights everything except for large carnivores. So we still need to perform the test. So that now, I mean, this, this Iguanodon has over 50 attack and about the same defense as a large carnivore like this Carcharodontosaurus. And wow, this Carcharodontosaurus does look pretty baller. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this will be interesting. Whether that factors in at all. Damn. So, does attack stats mean anything when it comes to large carnivores? Or will the Iguanodon go down exactly the same? There it is. There it is. Oh, I, just, I was just moving these guys. And yep, it doesn't matter how strong an Iguanodon is, it's going to die to a large carnivore. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, we've got our result. But before we end this episode, I do want to see what happens when an Iguanodon gets killed by a small carnivore. Okay, so I have released two of these Velociraptors. Both have amazing attack, higher than this Iguanodon. And when they decide to fight, uh, which ooh, these two look like they might do, um, we're gonna see how an Iguanodon dies to a raptor. It does seem like Usually the death animations are slightly different to the kill, so the raptor will probably pounce on its back and then take it out. But uh, yeah, well, let's see how it goes, shall we? Let's not speculate and just watch. So because the raptor's so much better, he should attack first. Oh God, is it down already? Oh God, it's almost down. <laughs> oh, bless it. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you what though, I couldn't make a raptor stronger than a maxed out Iguanodon. So Iguanodon will, would be able to kill a raptor if I think they're both base, I would assume. Either that or a modified Iguanodon's better than a modified raptor. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Slowly pay. <laughs> the raptor's like, eh, eh, eh. yeah! Oh no! Oh, down it goes. Wait, are you ready? Oh, oh. Oh no! Oh! That's so sad! <laughs> he like feebly swipes to him and then he gets taken out. Aww. Well, we may as well get the thumbnail while we're here. And there you go. Aww. Well, that about wraps up the best dinosaur to be added to the game, Iguanodon. I was a bit worried to start with that maybe... Iguanodon would only have like one type of like animation, which was um, the like hugging to death, but it has unique eating animations, unique death for medium carnivores, uh, unique death for um, small carnivores, and it can even kill small carnivores and medium carnivores. Uh, it's eating and drinking and running. It's basically a new animation type, and I friggin' love it. A dinosaur, a herbivore that can not only be killed, but can also kill carnivores. And one of the few that can actually fight small carnivores. Uh, adding just a little bit of uniqueness to the dinosaur roster. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.